Good morning, S4. Uh, the purpose of this quick chat is just to talk about the Learner Pathways for Sessions 21-22. I know it maybe seems strange to you to be thinking about looking forward to that uh, when you've got so many other things that are pressing on your mind, like you're learning just now, the, possibly the, the coming back to school, coming in for your practical subjects next week, and also the whole SQA thing to be thinking about as well. But it's often nice just to have something to look forward to and I hope this makes you think that you know we are going to get back to some sort of normality in the future. Maybe get you excited about that. Um, just before I go on to that, I just want to remind you on Friday at 11.20 there's an opportunity to have a chat with Mr Riles and myself and that is around um, anything that's worrying you around SQA or, uh, or the face return coming back to school. So I uh, hope to see a lot of you at that on Friday. So, back to the purpose of this and the learner pathways for next session. This has been dropped into Teams for you, along with a form for you to complete, and it's also been emailed out to you. So I suggest what you do is just open that up just now, um, and just flick onto the second page, which is actually the course choice booklet, which I've got on the screen behind me here. Just want to run through some of the information and tell you a bit about some of the new courses that we've got on offer this year. Um, and just explain what my expectations are. So the black text, these are the traditional subjects. So for example, your national five, your higher and your advanced higher. But we've got more and more blue texts on offer as well. And these are SCQF courses or NPAs. So of uh, same value as your hires and your national fives, but no exam at the end of it. And so these more and these are more and more suited to more and more of more pupils, um, and we encourage you to really have a good look at these. There's also some short courses, and um, they're purple and green. And like last year, it means that you can choose two in one column. Okay, so they'll maybe they'll only run for two or three periods per week. So two courses together make up one column choice. All of the subjects listed here are hyperlinked to more information and I urge you to have a good look at these so that you can get all the information. You'll notice this booklet's over 100 pages long so there's a lot of work gone into this to make sure that you've got a, a whole load of information about what's on offer. But I also urge you to discuss this with your class teachers as well. They'll, they'll know which pathway is right for you and what subjects you're most likely to enjoy and most likely to succeed in. So these are the, the people who have got the most knowledge. But you're also maybe looking at some of these subjects and thinking, I don't know what that's about. Click on the hyperlink, have a look, and the, the name of the teacher that's delivering the course is listed there. So get in touch with them and ask them, and they'll tell you what it's about and whether they think you'll enjoy it, and it'll meet your needs. So you've got to do a lot of talking. Talk to your folks. That's why I was keen to get this out this weekend, um, is so that you can spend the weekend having a good look at it and chatting to your folks about what you might want to do. Right, let me tell you about some of the new courses that are on offer this year that I urge you to have a look at. We've got Level 5 Animation, loads of courses on offer in the Art Department. Um, maybe you've done National 5 Art this year and you maybe didn't want to go on and do higher. Have a look at all these other ones that are on offer. Um, we've also got Level 5 Customer Service, which is a really exciting course. I'm really excited about that one. It's mainly directed towards leavers. Level 6 Young STEM Leaders. We've got an NPA in team sports, level five Scottish studies, level six journalism. Maybe higher English isn't it for you. Have a look at that one instead. Have a chat to your English teacher. See what they think. Higher application of maths. Uh, so that's the pathway that we promised you. If you're doing national five maths this year, you can then go on and do higher applications of maths as well. And um, so that's the first year that it's, it's running nationally as well. We've got a level five, six, seven performing music as well that's new um, ah, and higher politics is the other one that I wanted to mention as well that's another one that's new this year however we've got so many courses that maybe you're looking at this sheet and thinking I didn't even know that was running this year but there's other things there business with IT find out what that's about it might really suit you level six mental health and well-being as well we ran level five last year now we're progressing that and we're going to run level six so have a good look. The pastoral teacher, maybe you already know this, is setting up interviews for you over the next fortnight. Um, so 
you really want to go to that prepared with an idea of what it is you might want to be doing. Um, have a go at filling out the course choice form before you go so that you can discuss things and make really good use of that time. Now, what we find when we've been doing course choice in the younger years is that when parents have come into these conversations as well, it's been quite useful. I understand that not all parents are going to be able to do that, but that is parents are more than welcome if that's possible. Don't worry if it's not, we understand. Just one more thing to mention, I think, before I leave you to go and have a look at everything that's on offer. Is, uh, as I always do, the course choice sheet has been drawn up where the first thing is looking at any subject that you've studied at National 5, you can then go on and do it at higher. So you can choose any five hires out of the six National 5 that you've been doing this year. So for some of you, the pathway might be quite straightforward because if you've done really well at National 5, then you're going to want to go on and do higher. It might not be as straightforward as some other. It might be that you want to pick up a, a National 5 that you've not done. It might be that you want to go and do a Level 6 in something different. It might be that you've pursued a social subjects this year, but you've decided you don't want to do it anymore. So you could then go on and do a higher in a, dif a different social subject. All of these things are options that are available to you. But the most likelihood of success is having done National 5 and done it well and then progressing on to higher. And that's what we want. We want you to be the best that you can be. That's all I've got to say, I think. Um, you need to choose a minimum of five level six subjects or fill up all six columns. Remember that two short courses make up one column. Any queries, get in touch with your pastoral teacher in the first instance, and then they'll get in touch with me if there's anything that we can that we need to discuss further. But enjoy looking forward to this is uh, the next stage in your journey and um, about looking to the future. Um, so enjoy that, be ambitious in what you choose and take advantage of this really diverse curriculum that we've got on offer. So enjoy and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you at the chat on Friday and also welcoming some of you back to school next week. Thank you. Bye.